Good morning. Thank you for joining uh, this session on Activities Plus. So a little bit about me to start off. Um, my name is Wanas Rams. I am based in Belgium. I am a senior architect at ISW. Uh, ISW is a Australian-based uh, software company and consultancy company, um, HL partner. Um, they, their flagship product is Kudos Boards, which Activities Plus is based on on demand of HL. It was developed together with HL. I'm also a HL ambassador. Um, and previous IBM champion. I am one of the main organizers and board members at Let's Connect. Um, that is a specific connections user group um, that holds conferences in both Europe and the US. I'm the current Penumbra chairman, uh, which is a rotating role and Penumbra is a group of business partners in the HL digital solutions uh, area that have grouped themselves together. Um, you can find me on Twitter, on my Twitter handle, or you can uh, find me by email. So let's go. Um, first of all, why this presentation? Um, we at ISW developed the product Activities Plus have noticed that there is some confusion about how to install it, um, the different ways of the different ways of installing it. Um, so I thought I'd put together a session that goes through all those different options. Um, so I will talk a little bit about the architecture of the product. I will talk about the different deployment options you have, uh, about how to get more frequent updates in the in the product than you would have out of the box. Um, some installation tips, how the migration works and how you can get support for the product. So let me start by explaining the architecture from a high level perspective. Um, the image you see here is Activities Plus in our cloud um, deployed on Google Cloud. Obviously, if you install it yourself, you will have it running in a local um, Kubernetes environment. But the architecture is actually the same. Um, there is some specifics in here that are very typical for a cloud deployment and, and for Google specifically that you won't have in your environment. But basically, you will have DNS routing. Um, it will be handled by your web server. In this case, it's Google. A cloud DNS that handles it. You have MongoDB, just like we have in our cloud. Uh, when you install component pack, uh, MongoDB is pre-installed and has all the certificates uh, pre-installed for Activities Plus installation. Um, and we use Redis, we use Ingress uh, here and Redis and all the same services that you would be using within component pack or your own Kubernetes installation. Um, There are a couple of services here that are not available uh, on-prem, like statistics service, uh, real-time database monitoring, Google-specific monitoring, and um, provider configuration, which is a way of authenticating to Activities Plus or Kudos Boards, the full product, uh, with different authentication mechanisms like Office 365 or LinkedIn or Google or yeah, whatever you name it, it's it's going to be possible in the cloud version. So what is the difference between Activities Plus and Kudos Boards, which is the full um, task management solution that ISW offers? Um, not much. Um, it's basically just a user interface difference. 
um, and the data in the back end is exactly the same. So the only thing we do is when you have a license, full license to Kubas boards, we make a switch in the back end and you see a different user interface, but you're actually working off the same data set. That's also why it's so easy to gradually implement Kudos boards. If you want to upgrade the user experience, you can just start with a couple of users. And your biggest batch of users will just keep on working in activities plus and a couple of users in boards, they will be working on the same activities. They will just be looking at them in a different way. Uh, but the data in the backend is just exactly the same. You will also notice if you install Activities Plus, which comes for free with connections and is actually in the downloads, um, that there will be a possibility to start a trial uh, from within the product for the full product. I think it's a month uh, that you can try it for free. So how can we deploy Activities Plus? Um, four options. Um, the two main ones are on-premise and cloud. Um, I'll start with, well, hybrid. I'll start with hybrid. If you have a on-prem connections deployment, you can actually connect that to our cloud system that I just showed on the first slide. Um, obviously, we would ask you for a small fee. I think it's a dollar per user a month. Um, that is not a license cost because Activities Plus is free, but it is a hosting cost to cover the hosting cost for us. Um, if you upgrade to the full product, obviously you pay a license fee that $1 is gonna drop. Uh, the second option is just on premise like the rest of your connections deployment. Um, and then there is three options within. The official version on the HL website is install it within component pack like Orient Me and Customizer and all the other services which is the way it has been documented by HEL. And honestly, that is probably the easiest way and the fastest path forward. But we do support um, installing it in your own Kubernetes stack. And we have that documented on our website um, and we can also help you with that. And we do support OpenShift, which we have not documented on our website. But if you reach out to uh, the Kudos team at ISW, we will be helping you. Um, obviously, the advantages um, of installing it in component pack are that Mongo already exists, Redis already exists, all the components are there. It's just configuration. If you install it in OpenShift or your own Kubernetes stack, you're going to have to do a lot more installation and configuration. Um, so it's gonna be a little bit more complicated. Obviously, when you install it in component pack, you're gonna be supported through HEL, obviously, because it's an HEL product, it's included in your connections license. So whenever you have a problem with Activities Plus, you contact the HEL support through the normal support channel. Um, updates to Activities Plus. Um, I'll tell a little bit more about that later. Um, but it's kind of interesting. Um, and then obviously when you install your own Kubernetes stack, you're gonna have to uh, build your own Kubernetes. You're gonna have to build your own Redis. You're gonna have to build your own Mongo. You're gonna have to manage backups of your database. You're gonna have to back up uh, your configuration. Um, the advantage you have is that you will be on the Kudos release schedule automatically. Um, and as I said, I will tell more about that later. I think I went one slide too fast. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to go back. Nope, this was it. So the release schedule. Um, Activities Plus in our cloud gets updated roughly about once a month um, with bug fixes, but also new features. Uh, our development team is very agile. Uh, we get a lot of questions from mostly our Kudos boards, full product users with like feature requests and, and suggestions to improve the product. And many of them get implemented very, very fast. 
and then we just release them in the cloud whenever every feature that ready just gets released in our cloud. Um, our Docker Hub repository gets updated once a month. Um, so if you install Activities Plus using OpenShift or your own Kubernetes environment, you will be connecting to our Docker Hub. So you will get every update once a month as well. Um, there is a way for you to connect your on-prem component pack installation, the supported way by HEL to our Docker Hub as well. So we have documentation on our own website uh, on how to do that. And there are links at the end of this presentation um, to all the different parts of our documentation. But if you install it on-prem within component pack, you are still able to reconfigure the way it's deployed to make sure that you get all the updates once a month as well. So on the installation part, um, there are a couple of pitfalls. Um, it's not very hard to install. It's it's well documented um, if you don't follow the HL documentation. Um, so I've included a link in here, but also at the end to the Kudos apps documentation, because that actually, if you just follow that blindly, you will just get it installed and working. Uh, very easily. If you follow the HL documentation, it's going to get a little bit confusing at some point. Very important to know is also that you need to use the Helm chart that is on our website uh, and not the one that is included in the packages because your install will not work. Uh, and one of the things that we see most in our support tickets um, is that people forget to, they put all the necessary uh, lines for rewrites and all that kind of stuff in the HTTP server config, but they forget to enable the actual proxy modules in there. Uh, so it doesn't work. And the same thing goes for the YAML file. Um, don't use the one that is included in the component pack. If you're installing a brand new connections environment, everything is easy. You install connections, you install component pack, you install activities plus and off you go. Uh, if you install activities plus for the first time on an existing environment, obviously your users have been using activities module within connections for quite a long time and there is a lot of data in it. So that has been catered for uh, when you install activities plus there is a migration application that you can install. It just needs to be deployed in the same component pack or Kubernetes stack um, as you install the rest of the product. And it is a web browser based, it says UI based, yeah, okay. So it's not command line. So this browser based uh, migration tool that you can use to migrate all activities from the classical activities application to Activities Plus. So a one-off migration, so you can disable Activities and start using Activities Plus for all of your users. And once you're done, you just remove, you kill the pot and that's it. So this is what it looks like, the migration tool. Um, it's a very, very simple application uh, that will just list all of your activities in your old Activities component and it will well, say when it's lost access, it will have the amount of items that is in it, the amount of members, and it will show you if it's already been migrated or not. Um, you have a tab that says remaining, the unmigrated ones, and you have a tab saying done. In this case, we had 1,843 activities and one is remaining. Um, you can migrate every activity in one go. You can pick and choose you can decide to only migrate the ones that are still open and not to the completed ones. You can choose to not to the deleted ones, the ones that are in trash. And you can, for example, say if you don't want to migrate the templates, 
uh, you just ignore the templates. So there isn't many options, but the options are quite useful. And there is some granular granularity. That's a difficult word so early in the morning um, to how you want to migrate it. So once you are done, um, obviously you want to turn off activities. Um, quite simple, you go into the Lotus Connections config uh, and you just disable the activities component in there, restart the environment and activities is gone. Um, how do we integrate activities plus? So we have activities plus in the environment uh, that is not by default, you have to do some work. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add it to the applications menu, preferably where activities was before. Um, this is our internal, the screenshot here is from our internal deployment. So we have both activities and boards or activities plus you can give it the name you want to uh, in there. And it's simple, it's a standard customization in the GSP uh, for the menus that you need to apply in the common folder, and I've listed the part here for your reference. Uh, and obviously you want to integrate activities plus, just like activities was able to integrate into communities. To be able to do so, uh, you need to add it to the widgets config XML um, for communities. So that is available for community owners to be added to a community. And you also want the widgets for the activity stream to be there as well. Um, that is done through the homepage administration user interface. If you're not familiar with it, if you are a connections admin and you are on the classical homepage, you have an administration part where you can add, disable, enable widgets. Uh, that's where you need to be. And obviously, if you are using an ICEC or engagement center, you can also um, make sure that there is a community highlight uh, widget available for Activities Plus. Well, as you can see, the integrations are kind of the same as Activities itself, so you can integrate it in the same locations. Um, there is one downfall on Activities Plus as opposed to Activities, and that is that it is not being indexed by the standard search. Um, and that is something that I actually need to add to this presentation. Um, if you migrate all activities to Activities Plus and you disable or deinstall activities, you also need to rebuild your search index to exclude the activities application from the search results. Um, but we do offer a customization that is documented on our website to integrate Activities Plus in search using Connections Customizer. So when you do that, you will have a small extra listing on the left called activities slash boards. Uh, and when you search on the right side, you will have a result set from activities plus injected onto the page um, by customizer so that you can see the results from activities plus in the search page as well. Um, you can also enable activities plus component into the mobile app. So if you go to the mobile admin section of your connections deployment, you can choose which applications are in the mobile app. Obviously you're going to remove activities and then you can add custom applications and you can add activities plus in there. Um, same thing. It's just documented on our website. I don't think it's on the HTL website. So those are the integrations. Um, how does support work for Activities Plus? Um, as I said before, everything goes through HCL support officially. Um, our team, our support team, is delivering third line support to HCL. So in the back end, your ticket, if it's not a simple ticket that HCL can handle themselves, it will actually arrive in our support team. Our support team will work with level two support at HCL and we'll be providing you with updates through HCL support. If at some point you feel that things are being blocked or things are not working as they should or you are not getting the right answers, please contact us. Um, the link for the support team is somewhere in the slides as well, uh, but it's support at kudosboards.com. Um, 
we will always try to help you whether you use the full product or you use activities plus we don't really care we want you to be able to work so don't send all of your support tickets to us but if you feel that you're getting blocked please do not hesitate um, to call us as i said these are the links so this is our release page which is interesting because it allows you to see how many times we update the actual application and what the actual updates are so if there is new features you will be able to see it in here um, our docker hub to connect to if you want to get the more frequent updates when you install your component pack more information on the migration tool um, this is the actual starting page to install activities plus from our documentation the one you should be following and these are a couple of um, troubleshooting steps in case things go wrong anyway and that's it this wasn't a very long presentation um, so if you have any questions i'll happily have them translated for me Thank you very much for this session. I don't believe that our participants were ready that this will uh, finish so soon, so they haven't come up with the questions yet. Um, I'll check. I will check, yes. Пока что я не вижу никаких вопросов, так что я думаю, что все понятно. Если что, мы отправим их вам по почте. Well, no questions so far. I believe that it all was quite clear. If we come up with any questions, we'll send it to you by email, okay? Perfect. Thank you. Thank Отлично, you. спасибо большое.